Recent allegations of racial segregation in sororities at the University of Alabama continue to send shockwaves throughout the nation. Now U of A faculty, staff, and students are taking a stand against it. WVUA's Jennifer Edwards has more. Just on the heels of the 50th anniversary of Governor George Wallace's stand in the schoolhouse door come segregation allegations on the University of Alabama campus. This has UA faculty, staff and students saying they want changes. The overwhelming response from students and faculty across campus told us that the time to act was now. Hundreds of people gathered at Gorgas Library this morning to rally against the recent segregation allegations in sororities on UA's campus. We felt like we needed to put a rally on to show that the students of this campus are ready for segregation and institutionalized racism to end on this campus. I'm here this morning because I think it's a fantastic example of the blend of tactics that we need to use when you want things to change in a big institution like the University of Alabama. This morning's events also included a march from the steps of Gorgas Library to the steps of Rose Administration. Participants marched behind students holding a sign that read, the final stand in the schoolhouse door. UA President Dr. Judy Bonner greeted marchers as they arrived. I'm here to stand to make sure that no one has to deal with racism in the Greek system or has to deal with any kind of racism for any purpose or reason. Many of those involved in the march said they commend the administration for the changes they've made thus far, but they hope to see more. The administration has taken some steps already in this past week and we feel like we should support them and honor that, but we feel like there is a lot further that we can go as a campus, as a university. We have a beautiful case study of sort of things coming together at the right time, and I really hope that it is and affect some lasting changes that we can be proud of next year and at our 100th anniversary and all those other landmarks, not just a short-term resolution. President Bonner recently expanded the number of girls allowed in a sorority and is requiring groups to allow new members at any time. Reporting in Tuscaloosa, Jennifer Edwards for WVUA News.